Every Android ROM comes with its sets of features that makes it stand out of the rest. While some of these features are available right there in front of us, most of them are coded deep within the settings and it's quite possible for an individual to miss out on them. So in this video, I'll be talking about the EUI interface that comes with the La Eco devices like the La One S and the La Max and have a look at the top 15 features that are worth checking out on these devices. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. So let's start with the control center, the one thing that we use the most on the EUI devices and can be invoked by pressing the recent apps button. The control center gives a one touch access to toggle a lot of settings and can launch apps and you can customize it based upon your requirements. So to customize these icons, swipe to the very right and then tap on the three dots menu. Once the setting page opens up, you can configure the icon priority and then arrange them based upon your requirements. That's all. The next time when you open the control center, the icons will match your requirements. Now up in number two, we have something that's called color mode. And you must be knowing that almost every device these days comes with an ambient light sensor that helps in controlling the brightness but color mode is something different and uh, using it you can actually control the color temperature of your screen and it's really helpful for people who read a lot or watch a lot of videos or play games now under the display settings in ui you can tap on the color mode and then select from four different modes that is the la tv vivid natural and soft as soon as you select an option, the color temperature will change and you can choose what you want to keep. The video display enhancement option automatically fixes sharpness and contrasts, and is helpful for video bubs out there. The tip number three would be to get the network speed indicator up on your status bar. Now, if you're kind of a person who is always worried about the internet connectivity speed of your device, this nifty trick can be very helpful. If you open up the Android settings and head over to the mobile network management option, you'll find the option to display the real time network speed and it works for both 3G and Wi-Fi. Now you can also set data restrictions here if you're on a limited plan and I believe that both of these settings are indeed wonderful. Now up in number four, we have the option to scale view to magnify. And if you're a kind of a person who thinks that text and element on the UI is way too small for you and you would rather go for a bigger text, it can be done through the Android settings. To get that done, open up the display settings on your Android and then select the option of scale view. Here you can adjust the size and distribution of the content on the screen and magnify things as per your requirements. The phone will reboot to reflect the changes once it is applied. So the tip number five would be the swapping of the navigation keys and the live devices have hardware navigation keys and by default from left to right we have the recent app, home and the back button. But if you want you can swap the back and the recent key and it can be very helpful if you are a left handed person or if you just prefer the back button on the left hand side. To do that head over to the settings and navigate to the accessibility option. Here you will find the option to toggle the left hand mode. The icon of the backlit will not be changed once the toggle has been turned on, but then the functionality of both these buttons will be swapped. The tip number six is to view the photos that you have taken by its location. Now the built-in gallery app in the UI gives an iPhone-like interface to view all the photos based on the folders and you can even hide specific folders if you don't want them to appear on the list. But if you tap on the photos option on the bottom right hand side, you'll get the timeline view along with the location based view from where you can find the photos based upon the locations where they were shot. The options will only work if you have enabled the geo tagging while taking the photos. The tip number seven will be to auto power on or off the device. And this is very useful if you want to save that extra amount of battery when nobody is using the phone. To save battery, you can configure the EI device to uh, power off at a specific time and then power on and the configuration can be done from the Android settings under the power on off option. 
Now, we can configure both the time uh, on which the phone can be turned off and will be turned on, but be advised that no one would be able to reach you even in case of emergency. So make sure to choose wisely. Now the tip number eight will be to change the default apps. And as you might know that EUI maintains default app for almost any uh, or everything like the browser, music player, and even the launcher. And it can't be changed directly like we have on most of the Android devices. Rather, you will have to open up the Android settings, navigate to the app management, and here you can select the default apps that you would like to use. So you can change the default camera, music player, and even the browser that you would like to use while opening the links by default. The tip number nine is for the large file cleanup. And there are a lot of file cleaners available out there on the Play Store, which you can use to clean the junk file and the cache. But the AI also gives you the option to discover large file and that's taking too much of real estate on your phone and you get the option to delete it. You can get the option under the storage settings on the Android settings and it's a nice way to find and uh, delete the large unused chunk of internal storage from your phone. The tip number 10 would be the option to configure the device as a universal remote. Now the EUI devices come with an infrared blaster and you can use the built-in remote app to configure almost any device out there. Now we have already covered a video on how you can configure the universal remote app uh, for almost any device and the links are on the top right hand side if you want to check it out. Smart battery for app is the tip number 11 and it was added in the recent EUI update. If you head over to the battery settings on the EUI, you'll find the option Smart Battery for Apps. Now EUI automatically kills apps and free up memory for the applications that are not frequently used by the user and the ones which are disabled always remain in the memory. So you can make the changes as per your requirements and get a, bad, uh, and get a better battery life. Now the option to manage app permission is up at number 12 and you can configure it under the permission options in settings here you can have a look at the permission of each of the apps uh, that is required for them to function and then choose to revoke uh, any of the permission based upon your privacy needs you can get the permission in the app view or on the list view for better control over these permission and you can also have the option to allow refuse and always ask which is a great feature, I believe. The tip number 13 is about the recording calls and it's a built-in feature of EUI. Now, when you're dealing with uh, someone and you just want to record, uh, record the call, uh, while you're on the call menu, you get the record button right there on the screen. And once you tap on it, the recording starts automatically. And once uh, the call has been completed or if you want, just want to stop the recording you can press on the button and uh, even on hanging up the call the recording would save automatically and you can access it using the recorder app that is installed by the EUI. Now the ability to control the apps which auto start is at number 14 and you can control the settings from the permissions uh, option. Here tap on the manage auto launch option and you'll get the list of the apps that are auto launched every time the phone boots. You can control these apps and therefore control the power and memory consumption by disabling the ones you don't want and only keeping the ones that matter to you. Last but not the least up in number 15 we have the notification management and using it uh, you can control the apps that get the priority notification or the no normal notification. And uh, you also get the option to hide all the notifications from the lock screen with just one tap, which is great if you are a person who concern your privacy. So friends, those are the top 15 tips and tricks you must know about the EUI devices. Now, if you would like to contribute any of your personal tips, please do mention it in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button down there. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. 
Till then take care and have a wonderful day.